I'm reviewing the City Beauty Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. This is their Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 39. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. While well, I'm all about the sunscreen, that was one of the first things I changed in my skincare in my 30s. And that's when they really were starting to come out with broad spectrum. And that means it blocks both UVA and UVB rays with the active ingredients. And the active ingredients in this one are both physical the um, titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, which um, are not chemical, they're called mineral or physical. They're my favorite type of sunscreen active ingredients, especially for my face, also for my body. So I was really excited to try this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it on a freshly washed face in the next clip and then an hour later we're going to see how it looks because a lot of times full spectrum sunscreens with titanium dioxide and especially zinc oxide can leave a whitish cast in the skin so let's see what happens with this one. It's early morning and my skin is clean. I have on my vitamin C serum and another serum and now I'm ready to put on my City Beauty Skin Perfecting daily veil. Now it comes in this tube, but it's a really hard tube and that's because it's really a pump in the shape of a tube. And let's see if you can see, there's a little bit of tint in it, but not that much. Okay, a tiny bit. Um, I want to like, like a little bit more sunscreen than that. And I'm going to put it all over my face and you can see it starts off having a little bit of a cast to it but what I want to do is come back and let's say well it'll be the next clip for you but I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about 45 minutes or so because I want you to see how much of it is still showing before I put on makeup. It's been about an hour and I would say this is the first time I have put this sunscreen on and I'm not getting like blotchy pieces of sunscreen showing on my face. It's actually very soft um, but yeah, if I did, I was going to put on some foundation right on camera so you could see that I was going to say that if you're going to wear this sunscreen, you need to also wear foundation or a BB cream. So if you're one of those who wears sunscreen and then you don't wear foundation or BB cream, I wouldn't recommend it. But today it's actually looking okay. It doesn't have a white cast. It doesn't have the patchiness that I've had. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I'm back with a full face of makeup and I think this looks great with makeup. So, and again, this is the first day that I've tried this and I didn't get any whitish or at least, you know, after a little bit of time, it sunk into my skin. So it's a good broad spectrum daily veil sunscreen so that's pretty good and i think you should check it out and then check out one of my other videos where i'm reviewing their invisicrate body balm and the city beauty multi-action sculpting cream this one's for the face and i'm also reviewing two of their lip glosses which are a lip plumping and one of their lip creams and i'm wearing these two today so check that out one of the other videos on the right side of your screen and i'll see you in the next video